Hey, good morning, risers. This is Patricia Jo Grover, the Goal Achievement Strategist. And I'm talking this week, I promised you we'd be talking about planning, planning and calendaring to be able to achieve your biggest, boldest, most bodacious dreams and goals. So I want, really want to share with you, um, you know, I'm really excited about what's going on with my healthcare journey. Um, this morning, I'm down 14.8 pounds, so happy to share this with you, and I'm, I have my accountability partners that I post what, uh, how much time I've spent on the bike and so on, but it all, it is all choices and decisions that we make, right? So let me share again here in the kitchen with you, and the products that I've been using are the total life-changing products. They are all natural and have a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if anybody is interested in finding out anything about them, DM me, okay? But <laughs> I tell you, it, the energy that I have, the how, how, how good I feel, you know, I, I can't say enough. So let me just, uh, again, the Blossom, because I'm in menopausal stages, that helps me. I take three of those a day, the capsules. The Hair, Skin, and Nails, HSN, I take two a day. Uh, the energy is for energy, but it also helps give focus. It helps me gain focus. And I take those capsules with my ISO tea, um, and that's 16 ounces of water, and you put the tea in it. But um, today, I actually used some of the brewed tea as the base and then added the regular tea to it. And then I've added to my regime here the um, sea moss, nautica, it's a sea moss. And um, again, all natural, but inside of it, it, the flavors, it has um, a coconut sugar and a dragon fruit. So it's very, very tasty. And that helps to just nourish your whole body. And then Nutriburst. Nutriburst is a liquid vitamin, and I take a cap full of that every day, which is about an ounce every morning. And then Resolution Drops, that is um, an appetite suppressant in a bottle, and you just use half a dropper under your tongue. And of course, I have my morning coffee. So coffee or tea. So I'm going to have this coffee and then I'll be drinking my tea. So the Delgada coffee, um, it's, this is the instant brew. And I use the, actually I use the tea base as the water in, in this this morning too, because it is a, it helps. It's a natural cleanser. So here we go. I'm going to turn around and we are going to head into the other room. So um, again, I promised you guys I would be showing up authentically as me. So this is, this is me in the morning with my, um, hair and a ponytail and just neatened up a little bit, but it, it's, uh, not, not all flashy and fancy for you this morning, but you know, that's not the most important reason why I'm here. I'm not here to, to, uh, to, uh, say, um, hey, look at me for that reason. I want to help as many people as I can all over the world to know and realize that you are worthy and capable of having more, being more, doing more, and earning more. And how we do this is making shifts, mindset shifts, and changes, and having a positive attitude. And and really, what I teach my clients, and, and I talk about and this is why we're talking about um, planning, because we need to budget or have spending plans for our time, our money, and our energy. They're all the same, all th things. We need to have spending spending habits, good spending habits with these things. So that's why I, I, I have shifted my habits this year by using the time that I'm going through my emails, replying to them, checking social media, all those things while I'm on the exercise bike for an hour every day. So, hey, I'm walking my own talk and I'm sharing with you guys just different tips and everything. But let's let's really look at this risers because I like all you my risers because we're all rising above the challenges that life brings us every day in every way because we can't life is going to happen to us whether we're ready for it or not so let's talk about how we're choosing to spend our time and think about this creating plans we need to like i said yesterday whatever our big bold bodacious dream and goal is or whatever it is we're going after right we know what that is and we have to determine where we're starting from and if we don't know where we're starting from we can't get to where we're going because we need to know exactly where we are. So we know, need to know how we can build that plan. And it's never a straight line from, from one place to another. 
there is going to be challenges. There's going to be roadblocks. So again, we, we need to have our plans be editable and revisable. And they're two different things. But again, let's talk about the planning part. Think about this. And why I say we need to have planning days in our calendar every day, uh, every week, is because if we have, we've set that spending plan, right? That budget. And if we're going over that budget, or if we're under that budget, we need to make adjustments every week. So we put it in the, our planning days. So when we're looking at our, we have to check our measurables because we need that ROI. We need that, um, we need that return on investment of our time, our money, and our energy. So really thinking about it, it's like being the captain of your own ship, staying on course, right? Because if we are over budget with something, we need to make adjustments so that we can stay the course. So really think about what it is you're doing. Put planning days into place. So I say, have your plan, your big plan, your yearly plan, your quarterly plan, your monthly plan, your weekly plan, and then have your planning days. So I want to share I want to share a beautiful tip with you. What I do, I personally do this myself and I share it in my Design Your Destiny planning system because my planning system isn't a, isn't a planner. It is a planning system and it works with the system that I have, have in my, my um, Living Outside the Box book. So they work hand in hand, okay? But let me share this with you. If you want your day to go better with meetings and, and even in any relationship, I want you to think about this just for a second. Look at your calendar or what you're going to be doing that day, right? And think of that if you know you're going to be meeting with any certain person or, or whatever it is, think about the last conversation you had with them. Right. Think about that. So say this morning, I'll think about the different people that I'm having meetings with and everything today, clients and such. So think about the them and how you left that conversation feeling, how you personally left that conversation feeling. And then I want you to think about, you know, rating it a one to ten, how you felt. Right. Now today, going into that meeting with that with that person, plan on going into it with the intention, again, intentional, of having you be able to leave that conversation feeling equally as good as you did last time or even better. So that's the tip for today and talking. I really want to get the importance apart around, uh, to you guys about being intentional and planning and getting stuff into your planning in your in your calendar putting yourself first for your health your f you know your physical health emotional health financial health spiritual health and and just think yesterday was internet uh, what pets pets day right well those 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 are people or or they're people too <laughs> your pets are people too um but to get into your into these things into your calendar those in those special relationships whether it's um you and your significant other you you and yourself right put the stuff for yourself into the calendar first whether it's that bubble bath or or going to get your nails done or whatever it is okay well until next time guys and we're going to be talking more about planning but until next time rise above the challenges that life bring you away and have a great day